That's true. All right. Last question of the day. Um, hi, when I look at a site like SEMrush, and this was already answered in our group, but I just wanted to answer it again. Um, yeah, by somebody who deserves some some note because that was a very good uh, answer, and I like seeing that you know we've got a lot of um, active people in the group that are willing to share information, same as us. Excellent. It's been it's been hard getting to questions before somebody else in the group does, and I really admire and like that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up, then we can put them in the spotlight a little bit. Yeah. Uh, here we go. You're talking about Matt's answer? Yeah. OK. Yeah, because I read it, and I was like, oh, I really don't have anything to add to this other than you know, I use A refs, I guess, predominantly. The majestic behind that, even though I, I think SEM Rush actually probably crawls a bit better. All right, so question was, how about a look on a site like SEM Rush gives me a, a lot of backlinks that don't show on mods. My question is, which sorry, uh, which which one is accurate and how can I get them to show up for mods because there are a lot that don't. Um, Matt says, neither is accurate, but SEM Rush generally has a larger link database. There are trillions and trillions of links, blah, blah, blah. No one shows them all. Um, and he's saying basically... Yeah, just read the whole okay. thing. It's good. It's the, good. the most accurate way of getting as many links as you can find is extract your data from all of the link crawling tools and merge them into one database, remove the duplicates. Uh, but then, yeah, he says a very, something very real here, although that's completely overkill and wouldn't really benefit you. Finally, you <laughs> yeah. can't... I, I like that. Yeah. You can't get them to show up in Moz. Why do you want them in Moz, by the way? So I'm guessing she just basically wants everything to show up in one place, right? Um, yeah, she answered it. Um, I was told that they were the most accurate data. Uh, seems not so. My domain authority is also different on both of them, four on one, ten on the other, um, et cetera. But yeah, it, it seems like you know she probably got used to using something and uh, is now kind of you know diversifying the tools she's playing with and realizing that. Uh, yeah, there's a, a variance in everything that's cataloged. And you've got to take into account all of these companies uh, are essentially, um, you know, crawling websites and they all have a different ability to do so. And then they all have different metrics that they, uh, you know, provide you with based on these link profiles that they're able to um, uh, catalog. So, um, yeah, uh, they're, they're all going to have a variance. And typically the one with the most money uh, backing them is going to be the one that can crawl the furthest. And so that's why Google is so good at this. But, uh, you know, we predominantly use a refs, uh, which is also an expensive tool, but it, it does give us a pretty good, uh, idea as to what the link profile is looking like. I just want to read the rest. Um, so Matt answers another one of our comments says, okay, oh, I hadn't even seen this. worry about the data being accurate. What matters is Google might value the links have more over time. My best advice would be completely forget about DA and any link score. Matt, you're the man. Someone, nice. someone gets it. It doesn't really mean anything. It's a bit of an archaic method of trying to understand how Google might value pages and websites. Google doesn't use it and it has no bearing on website performance. And then he goes and self promotes himself, which we actually, um, uh, should probably go ahead and remove that. Uh, we love your comments, uh, Matt, but we're gonna we're gonna we're, we'll allow it this time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely not allowed. <laughs> yeah, you know we don't we, uh, we don't want people yeah. don't we don't want people telling you to PM them or or whatever. You know it just kind of detracts from. Um, you know, even if you are just trying to help, just realize this is what a lot of people do to funnel business to themselves. Right? Uh, we get it. Yeah. We've been there. Um, that's, we're just trying to we keep, keep this it out of the group, group as clean yeah. as possible because otherwise mm -hmm. it'll, you know, it'll turn people away. But yeah, um, I mean, his, his yeah, answer was really good though. Fine. His answer was really good though. Um, yeah. Sorry. I got that. And he took, you know, had the self promotion not been in there, I might've considered him for employee of the month next month, <laughs> yeah, <we're gonna> <laughs> which we will that. be announcing. Yeah, we're going to start, uh, we're, we're start giving away prizes to the most helpful yeah. group members. Uh, but Just yeah, every a, month. Yeah. We're going to have to take something away from them or, or if they self-promote themselves, though. <laughs> Jeez. They're going to have to give us something. Everybody's trying to make a buck. We get it.
We should, yeah, we should start charging people to self promote and just really monetize the group, right? It's a way for us to become a sleazy garbage group that stands for nothing. <laughs> but anyway, to to kind of wrap the okay, question sure. up, um, yeah, it sounds like she just wants it all in one place, right? Um, you, but first of all, you don't you don't need to see all of the backlinks. For, for example, I think AREFS actually has the largest amount of data. AREFS just um, and some you know people with a lot more time on their hands than we did actually looked very deeply into this. And basically, so AREFS have a lot more like data on their hands. They just pick and choose what links they think are the most important and then show those only. So AREFS isn't actually showing you all the links that they know exist for the site. They're showing you what they think are the most important links for the site. Um, so you can really only look at you know these like scores and the amount of links and stuff in the context of that one platform. Um, if that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't like look at, so a rep says site A has 500 backlinks and then you go to SEM rush and they say, oh, my competitor has a thousand backlinks where well, you're looking on like two different platforms and they're showing different amounts of links and stuff. So you kind of need to stick in one platform, I think would be a, a good way to go. Uh, we of course like a reps, um, but yeah, uh, you, you, I would also say you don't really need to see all your links, right? There's, I don't really think there's much of a, a benefit there of seeing all of your links. No, we've got um, videos on how we go about quickly auditing sites using AREFs. Um, you know, you can kind of get a good picture of a site once you really get into the habit of things, you know, within 10 minutes of uh, exploring it in AREFs. Um, and the deeper you go, the more you're going to understand about it. But, um, you know, I, I feel like five to 10 minutes in a refs and I, I, I'm usually, unless there's something wonky going on that I'm trying to learn about, um, you know, I, I can get in and out of there pretty quickly, yeah. but yeah, you know, as far as what, um, Matt's his name, right. Was, yeah. um, was saying, uh, you could hypothetically put everything into an Excel file, but I don't really know what you would even do it's with not, that. It's just data. not necessary. Yeah. I felt no. like this was something like when I when I first started doing SEO, I I, I was very uh, like I was checking like my backlinks like all the time, <laughs> checking my backlinks. Yeah. Like I just kind of look at them. Is it are they indexed? Are they showing in AREFs? Why is an AREF showing them? Yeah. Um, and I wasn't really looking at what's important, which is what's my traffic and analytics. How much money is the site making? You know, what are my keyword rankings? I mean, you don't need to check that every day or whatever, but. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I was, I was kind of like overly obsessed with this new backlink tool, you know, the AREFs or whatever, and, and really and looking at the backlinks in there. And I really wanted them to be in there for some reason. Um, so maybe I can relate to, to the, the, ask, the, the asker a little bit on this one. Yeah. But yeah, definitely not. I won't worry about that kind of stuff too much. Just, um, yeah. Anything else to add? Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!